Today I'm gonna tell you my story. How I became the first vampire. It starts at the realm. I was a spellcaster, a wizard, a witch, whatever you wanna call me. And I met her, Catherine. I was focused on the untamed magic, and she was a goddess of potions. I watched her working on the cauldron. One day, I finally gathered enough courage to say hi to her. And she smiled at me. That day it was the day I fell for her. My sweet Catherine. I know it seems weird talking about my love. While I should tell you how I became a vampire. It was because of her. I was madly in love with her. And she was with me. We didn't care what people would say about how we behave inappropriately in front of others. We were inseparable. I was so happy with her. I couldn't imagine my life without Catherine. So this is where it begins. I had a special interest on dark magic, immortality and power. The people of the church started to know about us. And if they knew where we live, they would go there to kill. No questions asked. So I wanted to find a way to make us immortal, living together forever. We got married at the realm. I shared with her my researches. I'm gonna be honest with you, Vlad. I don't like it. It's dark magic. But we would be safe from the Inquisition. I know, my love. But we can't play with fate like that. We're supposed to be born, to live our lives and die. That's the nature, we're casters, Vlad. We work with balance of the nature. I understand, love. I'll try to be more careful and find a way. Maybe I can help you, with my potions. Maybe I can create a potion that makes us immortal. That would be amazing, darling. But promise me, no blood magic. All right, Catherine, I promise you. I love you with all my heart. I know. I love you too. I also showed my researches to my friend Gregorius Lumvik. He also didn't like it. He told me I shouldn't be lurking around dark magic or I would end up being cursed. Don't worry, my friend. I'm being careful about this. Katha is helping me, trying to find a way through potions. This could be good for you and Avelina. Vlad, we don't have interest in being immortals if that means being cursed. Please, don't do that. Don't drag us into your philosophy of life. Immortality has consequences. If one person is alive for that long, it means someone needs to die, don't you think? I've heard my love and my friend, but I was obsessed with this. I couldn't stop my research just like that. I knew I could find a loophole in the middle of all this. Do I need blood for that? Maybe plants and crystals can make us all immortals. But this isn't my area of interest, it's Cathy's. But lately she was feeling sick, and the smell of the cauldron was making her throw up. I couldn't even make a potion to help her with her nausea. I just thought how much I should learn more about it. Until one day everything changed. Come sit with me. So, tell me, what did you talk with the sage? You're not gonna believe this. I'm carrying your child. Is this true? A baby? We're having a baby. I couldn't risk her life or mine. She needs me. So I stopped working on everything and focused on my family. I couldn't and I wouldn't let her down. I promised her. I can't wait to meet our baby. I hope this house is everything you dreamed of, Kathy. It's perfect, Vlad. Anywhere with you is perfect. We were so excited about our new home and the baby. We had invited our friends over to tell them the news. Avelina, I'm expecting a baby. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, my dear friend. 
I appreciate it. Soon, you and Greg are gonna have children too. Our children will be friends. Only if my sweet Catherine knew her fate, our baby's fate. I played the piano for our friends that night, clueless on what was going to happen to us. That night me started thinking about baby names. We were so happy about our family growing, but the Inquisition found us. She woke up in the middle of the night and found someone there. She tried to run. When I woke up I looked for her and called her name. But it was too late. Catherine, please stay with me. Please Cathy. I can't live in a world that there is no you or our baby. For me and for our baby Cathy, live. I cried like a baby with her in my arms. Cathy, my love, I'll bring you back. I'll kill those bastards. Just be with me. I'm going to try to bring you back and we'll be immortals together. I used a spell to preserve her body. Greg tried to talk some sense to me. It's awful what happened to her, but you need to move from here. Let her rest in peace, Vlad. I'll find a way to bring her back. I'm trying a spell. I'm reading her books of potions. She'll be back to me, Greg. If you won't help, just fucking leave. If that's what you want. By Gregorius. Goodbye Vladislaus. Four days I kept studying her notes to see if I learned something, but even with the spell, her body was starting to rot. I finally came up with something. I tried on me first to see if there was any reaction. But I didn't feel any different, so I thought I had failed. I asked Catherine for forgiveness. I failed her, so I drank another potion to kill myself, so I would join her. But the immortality potion, I drank it was a mix of my researches and hers. It wouldn't bring her to life because you need to be alive and died after to work. I woke up feeling strange. Everything was heightened, my head hurting. And again, I had to apologize to her for failing to join her. But this new body was interesting. I tried to look myself in the mirror and there wasn't a reflection. When I tried to go to the realm, the sun burned my skin. I had to go back home and wait for the night. At night I felt powerful the way I've always wanted to be. But I was alone, without her, without our baby. I couldn't use my stone anymore. So I had to go through the portal. When I arrived there it was like I didn't belong there anymore. Not just because I was another creature, but that place without Catherine was unbearable. Every place I looked it had a memory of her. But the curse to live like this is that I have to drink blood from other people. It was awful at first, but now I enjoy every drop of it. Little by little I talked to a few spellcasters to see if anyone was interested in this new life. I found El and Vlad. They were interested. In a sense also joined us. I think just because El asked her to. Because she's too good for this curse. When Greg found out what I was doing, he dueled with me. It wasn't a fair fight. My caster powers were gone. I had other powers now. When Catherine died, Greg knew I wouldn't let it go. He started to study the effects the moon casters. He was stronger when there was a full moon. He just wanted to stop me. My dear old friend, I could drink your blood and kill you but I won't in consideration I have for you. Get the fuck out of the realm. I don't want to see you and your friends here anymore. Fine. This place is becoming boring with you and what do you call yourselves? Mooncasters. Pathetic. What are you doing next? Howling to the moon. Fuck off. This is our new home. This village is abandoned, but it's close to the city. Windenburg and Glimmerbrook, so we can feed and start a new era. I'm calling this village Forgotten Hollow. And we, my dearest friends, we're no longer casters, we're vampires. 